Doc Talk is brought to you by Multimin USA, manufacturers of Multimin 90, Sure Trace Mineral Supplementation by Timed Injection. Hi there, folks. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson. Thanks for joining us today on Doc Talk. We have an exciting show. Dr. Greg Quakenbush from Geyser Technologies is going to be here today, and he's going to talk about a new technology that helps us better diagnose bovine respiratory disease in feeder cattle. It's a it's a most important. Uh, disease complex that we see in cattle and this is a tool that's going to help us alleviate it. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the show. We started using Multiman three or four years ago. Any time that you're able to supply uh, a product like this that can boost the immunity system, get a better response from your vaccines, uh, it kind of fits into a total program. We just feel like that uh, the Multiman is, is kind of a reassurance that we're, we're getting the most uh, and the best performance possible. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. This segment is brought to you by Norbrook Laboratories, manufacturers of Normycin LA, Normectrum Plus, 1% and Poron, the practical choice for your herd. Greg, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Good to be here. Well, it's great to have Dr. Greg Quakenbush here. And Dr. Craig Quakenbush is the technical services veterinarian for Geisler Technologies. And, and specifically, you're representing this Whisper technology that, that we're going to talk about today. But, uh, you know, you have a lot of experience in the beef industry and a lot of experience with bovine respiratory disease. And sometimes for veterinarians, that's not always a compliment. Um, um, if you, the way that I learned about respiratory disease well, was... <laughs> B BRD certainly keeps you busy because it's, uh, and as your audience knows, it's the number one cause of death and illness in cattle by a long margin. Probably 75% of all sickness in cattle, at least in the feedlot, is BRD. And of those, probably 50% of all deaths and maybe higher is bovine respiratory disease. So it's uh, Unfortunately or fortunately, it certainly is uh, job security for too many veterinarians. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk a little bit about bovine respiratory disease and what exactly it is. You know, the term BRD complex or BRDC that we see all the time in all the publications and on TV. I think it's important that we add the C. It's bovine respiratory disease complex. Or the C could also be for complicated because it's many factors hmm. coming together and they're never the same. We have, I mean, we have four or five different bacteria that are commonly caused of, uh, of BRD. We've got that many viruses, IBR, BVD, PI3, BRSV. So those come together in any combination. And then add the stressors, add um, early weaning, add uh, two inches of snow, add taking them from Florida, bringing them to Kansas. You add all these combinations together between the management, the uh, immune status of the animal, the various bugs, and the you weather. get a compl the weather. You get a complicated situation that there's no easy single answer for. Yeah, and and when we start to think about the progression of, of bovine respiratory disease in these cattle, it can it can you know take a couple weeks. It can be quick, depending on the pathogen, depending on. You know, That's early right. diagnosis is vitally important. It does. Early diagnosis and early treatment is absolutely key. It's interesting to note that probably in a feedlot setting, most of these cattle are going to succumb to BRD in the first 45 days, but a lot of them are going to possibly die even within the first week. But it depends. There are some bacteria like mycoplasma, which tends to kind of be drawn out. That would be one that's maybe getting sick or dying around 30 days after. So, and some of these bugs are really nasty and they hit them hard. So, there can be a variety in the timeline. Well, I think it's some great information. Bovine respiratory disease is definitely uh, one of our most important biological and economical pathogens or, or complexes that we see in, in the cattle feeding segment. When we come back, we're going to talk some more with Dr. Quakenbush about how we misdiagnose cattle whether we're missing the ones that have it or pulling the ones that don't. Both of them cost us money. You're watching Doc Talk. We're sure glad that you joined us and we're gonna be back right after this break. This segment was brought to you by Brut Cattle Equipment, makers of the Brut Stealth Hydraulic Chute. If the chute fits, swear by it. Visit our website for more information. 
and by Lalaman Animal Nutrition, dedicated to the development and production of natural and differential solutions for animal nutrition. Beef producers need a practical choice when antibiotic therapy is required. More than ever, they are reaching for non-prescription Noramycin 300 LA from Norbrook, specially formulated to produce sustained antibiotic blood levels up to four days in cattle. Noramycin 300 LA delivers economic, broad-spectrum disease management for pneumonia, shipping fever, pink eye, wound infections, and foot rot. See for yourself why Norbrook's Noramycin 300 LA is the practical choice for your herd. Dr. Dan here. Whether I'm driving up and down the roads covering the state of Kansas, or I'm getting between Riley and Manhattan for my job, I'm driving a Ford truck. I'd like you to come out and visit my friends here at Dick Edwards Ford. They have a truck that'll suit your needs. Whether you're looking for power with a power stroke diesel, or if you're looking for fuel efficiency with the new EcoBoost engine, they got a truck that's just right for you. They're located two miles east of the Town Center Mall in Manhattan, Kansas, and they'll bend over backwards to help you. And I'll see you down the road. This hog is Hanover Hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Getting ready to work cattle for pre-breeding and calf vaccinations? There's no better time to use a safe, modified live virus vaccine to prevent BRD. Titanium provides the correct equation for BRD with its excellent safety profile and a strong response and long duration of immunity. Ask your veterinarian about modified live virus vaccines and the eight convenient combinations of titanium for the perfect pairing of performance and value. This segment is brought to you by Rotomix, manufactured in the USA and designed for feeding performance in the feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow-calf operations. Folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here from Kansas State University, and I'm joined by Dr. Greg Quakenbush, who's a friend and colleague, and he is the technical services veterinarian for Geisler Technologies and specifically representing Whisper Technology. And as we talk about bovine respiratory disease, one of the things I battled as a veterinarian, I think you've battled, we all battle, whether we own the cattle or riding pens or whatever, is how do we identify? How do we diagnose calves with bovine respiratory disease? You know, I, I think there's a lot of deception there. We think we're pretty good at it. And, <laughs> and, and some people really are, and others maybe think they are, but you know, Studies have shown that our ability to identify cattle with respiratory disease is actually pretty poor. I mean, we make decisions in the feedlot, we pull them, and a lot of people take pride in it. But uh, there are a lot of things that happen that cause us to, uh, to kind of be tricked. And I would say one of the ones that's really interesting is cattle are prey animals. So what they tend to do, even when they're really sick, when a stranger comes out or there's a little bit of disruption, they'll act like they're just fine. They'll pick their heads up, they could be lame, and they'll walk off. Um, so that throws a lot of curveballs. There's, uh, sometimes there's just, not, they're, they're ill, but they just typically sometimes don't show a lot of clinical signs. So there's a big gap in our ability to accurately identify these cattle, even though we think we're pretty good at it. We could be a lot better. <laughs> I had some pen riders that tell me I could smell it. I know. Sick calf a quarter mile away, and I'd say, well, you start using your nose because your eyes aren't working. <laughs> well, you know what's interesting is when we've done studies at, uh, at slaughter uh, and looked at the lungs, in fact, there was one study where uh, they discovered that, uh, that lung lesions were present in 68% of all the cattle. And yet of the cattle who went there, only 40% had been treated. So that was a pretty good proof in that, that some cattle are slipping through. We've got cattle with lung lesions at slaughter or significant mnemonic lesions that were never treated. Yeah. People just missed them. And I think you've even done work around that topic well, as then, well. And then we see cattle that go to slaughter that have no lesions that were treated. <laughs> yes. And so, yes. And, and when we start to talk about judicious use of our antibiotics and, and being able to really tune, fine tune which animals we're gonna use these, these drugs on, 
you know, the better we can diagnose, the better we can use the antibiotics that we have. Absolutely, and, and this diagnosis thing is critical because today, I don't know what you'd call an average price of an animal in a feedlot, but I look at them as little thousand dollar bills at a minimum. And so we can't afford to be sloppy. We can't afford to miss anything. And on the other hand, we have, uh, 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 we find ourselves in an environment today where there's, uh, and, and rightfully so, a great call for antibiotic stewardship and animal stewardship. And so as good stewards and as responsible use of antibiotics, we've absolutely got to do better on our diagnosis. Yep. And there's room for improvement for sure. Yeah, we want to treat the ones that are sick, that need the antibiotic, and we want to you know, be able to diagnose the ones that don't need it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, great segment. It's going to give us a good segue into introducing the Whisper technology. Folks, thanks for watching today. We're going to take a little break here. We're going to be right back. More with Dr. Greg Quakenbush and Whisper Technology. You're watching Doc Talk. We're sure glad you joined us. This tip brought to you by Batrol 100 Enrofloxacin Injectable, now approved for use in controlling BRD in high-risk cattle. Batrol 100, right the first time, whether it's controlling BRD in high-risk cattle or treating BRD. Hi there folks, I'm Dr. Dan Thompson, and this week's On the Farm Tip, sponsored by Bear Animal Health, focuses on low-stress cattle handling of sick cattle. When a calf is identified with bovine respiratory disease in its home pen, we have to move it to the hospital. Those animals should not be run or stirred up as they're, they're sick with a respiratory disease. If they get to the hospital pen system and we're going to have to have a delay before we doctor them, be sure to give those animals shade, water, and a little bit of hay. Now, when we move those animals through our system, through the tub, it's important not to mix larger animals with smaller animals as those animals can become trampled or get pinned underneath the large animals and the outcome's not good. Low stress cattle handling, early disease identification, all of these things are important to assure animal health. This is your On the Farm tip from Bear Animal Health, and I'll see you down the road. With BRD, every second counts. And when you get new high-risk cattle, you've got a choice to make. You can either take your chances and wait and see what happens, or you can take charge of BRD. Right from the start, treat bacteria up front with Batro 100 Enrofloxacin Injectable, now approved by the FDA for BRD metaphylaxis and high-risk cattle. Ask your veterinarian about Batro 100 and make it your go-to drug to control BRD and high-risk cattle or for treatment of BRD. Batro 100, right the first time. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Got cattle? Rotomix manufactures a complete line of energy efficient rotary and vertical feed mixers for feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow calf operations. Our mixers are available with the patented Generation 2 Staggered Rotor, the industry standard for feeding wet rations that include wet distiller's grain. Made in the USA, Rotomix mixers are designed for feeding performance that American cattlemen and dairy producers have come to expect. Rotomix, proud to offer a better mix in less time using less fuel. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment is brought to you by Fink Beef Genetics. Our 23rd annual bull sale featuring 400 Angus and Charlay bulls is Wednesday, October 30th. Contact us at 785-293-5106 for more information and to be added to our mailing list. Hey there folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here from the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University and I'm joined today by Dr. Greg Quakenbush and we've talked about bovine respiratory disease and how we can misdiagnose it and now we're going to talk about a new technology from Geisler Corporation, Whisper Technology, which I have in my hand. We have a, we have a prop folks and so um, you know, it's, it's, it is a stethoscope, but it's a little different, isn't it? That's right. You know, we've had stethoscopes for forever. In the, even in the old days, some people listened through a, what would be like an empty tube just to listen. But this is a new twist on an old technology. And what's different about this one, Dan, is that this is a computer-assisted electronic stethoscope. 
And when we go down and, 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 and escort the cow and listen to the, the steer's lungs, we take a, we hit the recording button here, and this will record lung sounds for eight seconds. Okay. And, then, and then at the end of that point, via a wireless connection, and this can be away from the chute, 15, 20 feet, it sends the information to the computer where it goes through a, a patented algorithm and it's going to give us a lung score from one to five. Okay. So it's going to tell us the absolute condition of the lung and uh, there's great diagnostic advantages in that. Hey, this thing's not just your, I mean, I, we had stethoscopes when we were in vet school. This isn't your typical. This is a stethoscope on steroids. Yeah, this another, thing another nice thing is up here in the earpieces, there's little receivers up there. So you can actually, I heard things with whisper that I never heard before, even though I'm kind of deaf. It, it really, really lets you hear. And it's bringing to light a technology that we've pretty much ignored, at least in large animal, in, in cattle practice. Uh, we've, we've kind of put it aside because there's some difficulty. The, the neat thing about Whisper is it doesn't have a personality, it doesn't overthink things. So whatever Whisper hears, as it runs it through the computer and through the algorithm, it's going to tell you exactly what you've got. So it's not going to overthink it, it's not going to be biased by what it sees, so it's just going to strictly tell you what it's got. So the big thing is, is this is a tool that we can put on the chest of the animal. And so we have animals that come in the chute that may be running a fever but don't have respiratory disease. We may have animals that look sick or as we term pulling ugly cattle <laughs> out of the pen that don't have respiratory disease. And just like when you go to the human doctor and they put this on your chest and they say, oh, I hear some lung sounds which are starts to pinpoint that yes, whether or not we have pathology in the lung which would indicate respiratory disease and if we don't then we may have something else going That's on. That's exactly right and even though as we talked about earlier BRD is is the number one cause of, of illness and death in cattle there's still that other 25 percent and we tend to kind of lump everything into respiratory disease but if you take this out and you escold an animal who's sick in your opinion and it comes back a one that tells me we better look around because there could be something else going on. We may be missing something. Yep, well, it's really cool stuff, folks. Um, the ability to not only auscultate that animal, have it give us the score, the severity of the, the lesions that are in the lung, but also have it automatically download to a computer shoot site. So everything is built in. This was, this was not invented by people who don't know cattle. It was invented by people who know the operations. Um, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about how we can make these pay. Cool, fantastic. Thanks for watching Doc Talk, and we'll be back in a minute. This segment is brought to you by Purple Wave Auction, the easiest, most straightforward way to sell used equipment. Purple Wave, straight, simple, sold. This is Agriculture Today from Kansas State University. Fall is an extra busy time for agricultural producers, which translates into a greater volume of slow-moving farm equipment traffic on rural roads. K-State's Kerry Ebert reminds farmers and ranchers and motorists in general to all be safety-minded on the roadways during this stretch. Sharing the road is everyone's responsibility during this time of the year. Um, we do have a lot of farm equipment out on the out on the roads, and farmers, you know, we all have a responsibility to make sure that we've got the appropriate markings, um, lighting. These machines have to be visible. Tractors are involved in fully 50 percent of the accidents that happen on the farm. This is K-State Research and Extension. Cow-calf, stalker, and feedlot producers know that effective parasite control improves overall herd performance and profitability. Norbrook offers a comprehensive, economical line of poron and injectable parasiticides for every livestock operation. Consult with your local animal health supplier to set up a program that protects your investment and brings larger cattle checks this fall. See for yourself why the Noromectin line from Norbrook is the practical choice for your herd. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine is a leader in food animal research and education. Our researchers are constantly expanding the knowledge of animal health and food safety. Through the Veterinary Health Center and the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab, we provide practical services for animal producers. Home of the Beef Cattle Institute, the college is committed to animal welfare training and research. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine, knowledge and service for the future of animal production. 
Hi, I'm Kevin Oxner, host of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen and Colorado Rancher. Join me each week as the National Cattlemen's Beef Association brings you the latest updates in industry information and market news. Plus, each week we provide important educational information and features on cattlemen from across the country just like you. And we can't forget our favorite cowboy poet, Paxter Black. Join me for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen, debuting Tuesday nights at 8.30 Eastern, right here on RFD TV. We're cow-calf producers from Northeast Colorado. We run about 300 commercial cows and calves and uh, sell them at the sale barn in October. Since we've been given multi-min, our reproduction rate is about 95%, which is pretty good for grassland, and we run bulls, and we do not AI. That means an extra 15 calves at sale time. We've been using the multi-min product for three years. We are really happy with it and recommend it to anybody in this business. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Doc Talk and my guest, Dr. Greg Quakenbush, who's a technical services veterinarian for Geisler Corporation. We're talking about Whisper technology. I've got it here on. Um, Looks good on you. Thanks, thanks. So tell me now wh where we're going to use this in the feed yard. Where, where are some of the spots where well, you're seeing the application? Let's, let's start with cattle on arrival. Yep. When we use Whisper on arrival, it uh, all those cattle, you just now you, you can get a photograph, you can get a picture of, of where their lungs are at right on the day they arrive. If they're ones, it means there's no signs of pneumonia. If they're fours and fives on up, it means they arrived with respiratory disease. Don't buy a big bag of feed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't want a boatload of fives. But, but you know what that does? It helps us with the risk assessment. You've got some idea of the cattle you bought. And it's going to help us actually use our anti-infectives better. Because we know who's sick, at least right off the truck. We know who's OK for the moment. And so it's going to help us with better antibiotic judicious use of antibiotics. Yeah, and I think the big thing is is that, you know, it gives us an objective measure of which animals have respiratory disease on arrival. We'll have cattle run fever from stress, ambient temperatures, viruses, Absolutely. but they're not infected with with a bacterial pathogen and and to be able to pick out those cattle on arrival and communicate back to the point of purchase that hey you might have sent me something that I didn't intend to buy. That's right. Um, it gives us a little bit of a insurance and, and the ability to look at these, and especially think about those custom yards. That's right. When you have a customer sending your cattle, and, and communication is key with people as those cattle are coming into the yard because they're not necessarily there when, when the cattle are received. And you can say, hey, we got, we got some cattle that have some, some, some lung sounds that you know, a bunch of sick cattle on arrival, it's not good. It's helped frame expectations because I know some veterinarians have liked to use Whisper because they can call back to the owner of the cattle and say, we may have some trouble coming. I mean, this is right day one yep. because he can he can tell them, I don't know what you're expecting, but I see some storm clouds here. But we, so, can, we can also treat those cattle absolutely. and have a better outcome. Let's move from from arrival to, to the next area. Well, when we come to treatment, the first thing I think Whisper really helps us with, it helps us gauge ourselves and it kind of helps train us to be better at pulling cattle and identifying who's who. So if, we, if we're bringing in a lot of cattle into the hospital and let's say they're ones, then... And again, a one is a normal. A one is normal. Okay. Uh, it tells us either we're pulling too deep or we need to look for a different diagnosis. If we don't see any ones and twos, maybe we're not pulling deep enough. So it helps us gauge who we're treating. And another thing it does is that uh, when we use these long-acting antibiotics that we have now that are like 14 days or 10 days, sometimes you give that animal one of these long-acting expensive antibiotics and about day two or three you're thinking, man, eh, they're not looking quite right. Whisper can tell us if, we're, if, we're, if our therapy is gaining traction and we're being successful so you can relax or it will help us know if we need to move on and do something different. Great show today. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for in oh, introducing pleasure. this tool. And folks, uh, you know, treating the right ones and not treating the ones that aren't sick is important as we move forward with bovine respiratory disease. And this technology and Geisler Corporation is, is great. Thanks for watching Doc Talk. If you want to know more about what we do here at the College of Veterinary Medicine, you can find us on the web at www.vet.ksu.edu. Remember, always work with your local practitioner. We appreciate you watching the show today. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson from the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University, 
and I'll see you down the road. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. Doc Talk, produced in cooperation with Drovers Cattle Network and Bovine Veterinarian. For more information about this program or previous programs, go to DocTalkTV.com. Doc Talk was brought to you by Multimin USA, manufacturers of Multimin 90, Sure Trace Mineral Supplementation by Timed Injection. My name's Tim Todd, uh, along with my wife Chris. We own and operate Green Mountain Angus Ranch out of Rygate, Montana. We've been in the Angus business for about 30 years now. Uh, we sell about 300, 350 bulls a year. We have a production sale in the fall, the third Friday in November. Then we have a uh, private treaty sale in the spring. We've been using the Multi-Min product for about seven years now. Uh, we started using it uh, off the recommendation of our embryologist. We, he suggested that we give our recip cows a shot uh, prior to putting embryos in. Uh, we had a real good uh, conception rate that spring and we've been using the product ever since. We, uh, we did some research on the product. We uh, talked to our veterinarian. We talked to some nutritionalists. Uh, this area of Montana can be a little deficient in copper. That's one of the three main uh, minerals in Multi-Min. And so with that we brought our copper levels in our cattle up to where they need to be. We've seen an increase of uh, five to six percent in our conception rate on our, in our AI program, which is huge. Uh, you start getting 30 to 40 more AI calves uh, in a year, uh, we put about a thousand dollar premium on our AI calves versus the, the calves out of our cleanup bulls. So uh, we're showing a, a huge return by using the product uh, in, that, in those regards. We give our cows a shot of multi min pre calving for the immune system of the unborn calf. She will transfer the minerals into the unborn calf through the blood system. When the calf is born, he has a a high level of mineral in his liver, which will help with his immune system. We give our calves a shot of uh, multi-min at, at weaning. We've seen uh, results with the product. We've seen uh, less sickness in our calves after we wean. We've seen less foot rot in our calves. Uh, they just seem to go on feed good. The, their hair coat stay good. So those are the benefits that we've seen, the big benefits we've seen with, by using the product. We started giving our bulls a, a shot of multi-min oh, 30 days ahead of uh, our semen evaluation tests. Uh, we've seen a decrease in the amount of bulls that don't pass their semen test, and we've seen better semen evaluation scores by, by giving the, the multi-min shots. Uh, in our particular operation, we uh, lease a lot of pasture, so it's real important for these cattle to stay healthy. Uh, we don't get the opportunity to, to check them like we'd like to. Uh, it might be three or four days before we get through these cattle. Uh, the least sickness, the, the least foot rot we have, the better off we are. So uh, with the use of multi-men, uh, that's two of the big benefits we've seen. Healthier cattle, less maintenance.